Okay, so I'm gonna go through two more. And then what I would recommend you do at that point is pause the tape and try and do example 14 and 15 on your own and come back to the video and then see if you match me. All right, so here we go, example 12. A pollster interviews all human resource personnel in five different high-tech companies. This is an example of what type of sampling method. All right, so a buzzword standing out to me is the word all. I wanna keep that in mind. All right, so we've got all human resource personnel in five different high-tech companies. So it sounds like they're trying to get a sample of human resource folks from the tech companies. And out of all the different high-tech companies, and there's a bunch of them, all right? We got Amazon, YouTube, Google. I don't know, there's a ton down in Silicon Valley. They've selected five. So from all high-tech companies, right? They broke you up by company, so they grouped you by company and selected five. And I say and selected five companies, not just five people. So again, if we just take a step back and think of how this is being played out, right? We've got all those high tech companies. We, we wanna go ahead and just say, well, we wanna talk to some human resource folks, get a, get a pulse, some kind of interview on them, whatever you're um, trying to gauge from them. So we've got all these high tech companies. I'm gonna split you up by company and just find five of those companies. And when I get to those five companies, I'm gonna interview everybody from that human resource department, right? So out of all of these groups, right? All of your companies, I picked five of them, right? And I took everybody in that entire group. All right, so let's start to, to rule this out. As soon as you realize you're grouped, you're either stratified or you're clustering, okay? This is not convenience. I didn't find the first, I don't know, 100 human resource folks and, and interview them. This is not simple random. I didn't have a list of every single human resource person that works in Silicon Valley, number them one to, I don't know how many it would be, 20,000 and pick them. Okay, it's not simple random. This is not systematic. I didn't survey every eighth human personnel, uh, excuse me, human resource person I found. But what I did is I, I took all these companies, I grouped them by company, I selected five of those groups and I interviewed all of those groups. That is a cluster sample, okay? So let's take a look at example 13. A medical researcher interviews every third cancer patient from a list of cancer patients at a local hospital. This is an example of what type of sampling method. So the buzzwords that are standing out here is every third ca cancer patient. As soon as you see that type of phrasing, if we're talking to every third person, systematic, okay? So I'm just systematically going through and talking to every third person. One, two, three, I wanna talk to you. One, two, three, I wanna talk to you, okay? All right, so as I said, with that, if you're, you're following along with me, we've done three of these multiple choice questions together. I would say pause the video, take a moment, come back to it, but come back to it after you've looked at 14 and 15 and tried to get those, those answers on your own. All right, here we go. So let's see if we can look at another couple of setups and identify which sampling method we have. So each of the 29 NBA teams has 12 players. A sample of 58 players is to be chosen as follows. Each team will be asked to place 12 cards with their players' names into a hat and randomly draw out two names. The two names from each team will be combined to make up the sample. This is an example of what type of sampling method. All right, so we've got 29 NBA teams. We're gonna make 58 players, okay? And we're gonna do that by each team is gonna give two names, All right? Each team in the NBA is gonna get two names. So we're gonna group the NBA players by team. And as soon as I hear that we're grouping, it's not a simple random sample, okay? It's not gonna be uh, a systematic random sample because there's no language in here saying I chose every 10th player. So systematic is out, okay? 
it's not convenience. If it was convenience, I'd go to the team closest to me. So I'd head over to Oakland and go talk to all of the Warriors and see if I could get them uh, to be part of my sample. I mean, I can only get 12 of them apparently. So, and if I need 58, I'd have to go to a few more uh, NBA teams. So I'd probably travel up to Sacramento, get the Kings, maybe go to Utah, uh, maybe go to Portland. So you can see how that starts to play out, but that's what a convenient sample would be. And that is not what we have. Again, we're grouping. When you group your, your population initially, you're down to stratified or clustering, and it's just what you do with those groups that decides if you're stratified or clustering. So did we take some from each group, or did we take entire groups at a time? So if I look at this, it says each team will be asked to place the 12 cards into this hat and draw out two names. So I'm gonna take some from each team. When you take some from each, that is stratifying, right? If we were to take entire teams, entire chunks, entire clusters at a time, that would be clustering. But some from each team, we're gonna go with stratifying, okay? Um, just as a little note, uh, if this had been SRSing, I just wanna review the calculator command here. If you had 29 teams, all right, let me move this down. If you had 29 teams and 12 players each, you had 348 players. So 348 NBA players. And again, this is just to review this concept. This is a side problem. It's not um, what they were asking of us. If I wanted to do an SRS of 58 players and my calculator, I would do random int 1, 348, 58, I'd probably get a repeat or two in there, so I would just continue this process until I had uh, 58 individual players selected. Okay, so the last one we're gonna look at, example 15. It says, to survey the opinions of Bleachers fans at Wrigley Field, the surveyor plans to select every 100th fan entering the Bleachers one afternoon. This is an example of what type of sampling method. And you can see the phrasing there, every hundredth. So that is systematic. 